Hey, good morning. Happy Friday to you. We have reached the last day of the work week, and I pray you've had a good week, and I pray that today is a, a, a great beginning to your weekend here today. And uh, welcome to a Friday edition of 5 Minutes with Phil. And uh, this morning, uh, first of all, I want to remind you that if you know somebody that could benefit from one of these five minutes verses, please, or sessions, please uh, share it with them, okay? Maybe uh, like yesterday, we talked about, you know, needing wisdom. If you know somebody that's needing direction from God, maybe send that to them. Maybe that will help them. Uh, so, and again, it's not about us. We just want to bless people and help people. So um, if you could jump on that, great. That'd be awesome. Now, today, here we go. Uh, we are in 1 John chapter 3. 1 John chapter 3. And John, when he's writing these letters in 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John, uh, he talks a lot about uh, the, the subject of love and the love of God and the love for God. And uh, this morning uh, in verse 1 of 1 John chapter 3, he says this, check this out. He says, see what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Okay, there are two really great insights here in this in this verse that I want to bring out for you today um, to kind of kick off your Friday. First of all, um, let's be reminded of, of the great love that God has for each and every one of us. It is, it is powerful. And his love for us is so incredible. It's to the point that we are identified as his children. We are identified as children of God. And the scripture affirms here that's exactly what we are. We are his children. You know, uh, there are a lot of people in my life, a lot of people in my life that uh, I've been blessed with. But not everybody has reached the level of love that I have for them like my son. Uh, that, that is a totally different kind of love. The love I have for my son, the love I have for my wife, those are two kinds of love uh, that is not existent for anybody else. It's a special kind of love. And as I read this, I, I'm, I'm getting that this is the special kind of love that God has for each and every one of us, that it's, it's to the point where we are identified as his children. That's how much he loves you. And I just want to say to the person that feels unloved, unappreciated and not accepted that God loves you with a love that is so powerful and so incredible that you're identified actually as one of his children, not just some uh, bystander, not just some person that's out there. He considers you his child. Wow. And then the end of this verse, I, I think it's really important. Here's the second truth I want to give you here today. Um, the reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Uh, I don't know if you figured this out yet or not, but if you've been serving God for any length of time, there's a segment of people on the earth, <laughs> in our community, in our lives, that are not going to get it. Why? Because they don't know God. Now, does that make them the enemy? No, not at all. And, and it can frustrate us a little bit that people don't get us. Because we love Jesus, we serve Jesus, we're devoted to Jesus, and people people don't get that. Well, here's why they don't get it: because they don't get God. That none of this makes sense to them, and so of course they're not going to figure you out. Of course they're not going to understand you. In fact, I will tell you that sometimes we get so frustrated when non-Christians don't act like Christians. We can expect non-Christians to act like Christians. It's not going to happen. Uh, one scripture says that all of this is foolishness to those that don't believe God. And so I just want to encourage you. Look, if, if, if the people that don't know Christ, 
If they don't understand you, it's because they don't understand God. Because they don't know him. That comes with it. And so today, I want you, number one, be reminded of how much God loves you. Number two, uh, realize that if people don't get you, it, it's because they don't know the Lord yet. But pray for them. Pray for them that they might find Christ. Okay, I hope you have a great weekend. We love you. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we will talk to you later now. Bye-bye. <laughs>